So, continuing on with smart safety devices, uh, we now have the multifunction access box, or MAD for short. Uh, what it allows you to do is have basically smart access into a machine cell or area. So typically you just have a, um, a guard into locked door, namely probably ProSafe or a sensor guard depending on the application. But what this allows you to do is have a local operator station built into the locking device itself. So for the example I have here, if I press the green button, this will simulate some processes happening behind the machine at the moment. So say there's a some kind of webbing application, you know, printing, printing press application. The operator needs to go in there to re-splice a roll, for example. What they can do now is if I press the yellow button to say, I need to request access. So what will happen here is the machine will do a controlled stop, so it will slow down. Then when it's got to a safe position, drop the STO on the drives or whatever safety function needs to require. It's then released the door. Now, with this door, with this door lock here, can you be on a sliding door so the handle can slide out? Or it could be on a typical door where you open the handle like so. What you'll notice is when I do this, at the back of the lock, you get a hasp point where you can then put your padlock or a hasp for extra padlocks and also on the front here. So you can actually then padlock the door so that it cannot be locked behind you. There we go. Oh, so you notice on the front of this, it has an e-stop. So you can use that as your, you know, e-stop signal. And it's all over SIP safe. So out of here, you've got a decoded uh, ethernet. Again, as the IO link before, it's in a DLR, DLR configuration. So you can go in and out. Same again with the power in and out. So again, it's easy to deploy on the machine. Again, everything on this MAB is what we call SIP safe. So even the push buttons come into the safety task as a SIP safe instruction. You code them with whatever you want to do. Notice there's also another port here, which we call the enabling switch port. So what you can code, again, it's up to yourself, whatever you want to do, because it comes over as a, a SIP safe signal. People use this as an enable input. So you, you could do whatever before access the cell, and then you may want to have an enable um, pendant on there that would then allow the machine to run at a safe limited speed, for example. A few customers are now deploying a ProSafe trapped key approach so that when you go into the cell, before the door unlocks, it forces you to remove the ProSafe trap key and then you have key in pocket, which then allows the, from your safety code to not allow the door to be locked while there's a person in the cell. It's just another level of safety which you can deploy whatever you like. Because again, this is SIP safe and it's going into the controller, you could also add other devices around this. So we've got a few customers who are doing access control using RFID readers. So again, you can then allow only certain access levels into a cell area or allow the machine to run in certain modes when they're inside the access area. Again, all following you know, the standard safety approach, but you're giving another level of verification to the operator that's going in the machine. The MAB itself does come in different flavors. So this one here is the top model. Um, it has basically the four buttons and the e-stop. We then do other flavors where they have two buttons uh, with or without the e-stop and also a non-SIP version. So depending on the application, you can then choose uh, which MAB model you need. We also do a left-handed version. So this one's the right-handed version. So there's, a, there's a basically the same again, but mirrored with the handle on the left-hand side. So you just specify which model you need.